。英語学習の時間がやってまいりました。視聴者の皆さん、いかがお仕事でしょうか最近、休暇時チャンネルをご覧いただき、ありがとうございます。今回はアメリカ NBC ニュースを使って新しい英単語を表現、そしてネイティブアメリカンイングリッシュのスピード、アクセントになれながら私たちの英語力をアップするとともに、今、どのようなことが世界で起こっているのか、経済はどうなのかというその情報もですね、取りながら私たちのレベ英語レベルアップとともに情報力も上げていきたいと思います。まず、この動画を始めから終わりまで集中して聞いて、ニュースの意味がわかるのか、出てくる単語、表現がわかるのか、集中して聞いた後に、このニュースの英語、原稿を使いながら詳細を捉えて、私たちの英語力、どんどん上げていきましょう。もちろん気に入ったら、英検一級家事チャンネル、チャンネル登録、高評価、シェアもよろしくお願いいたします。それでは集中して学習始めていきましょう。Let's get it started! では、このニュースを集中して、ネイティブアメリカン・イングリッシュ聞いていきましょう。Out of some relief in the economy yesterday, U.S. markets posted their biggest one day rally since 2020 after the October inflation numbers came in at a smaller than expected, though still high, 7.7%. NBC News business and data reporter Brian Chung is here on set with us again for more on these numbers. Brian, good to see you. Good morning.、Hey. Um, so, walk us through yesterday's market action and why we saw these big moves. I mean, it was pretty sizable. Are we expected、yeah. to keep seeing that today? Well, I mean, first, I just have to acknowledge I mean, I've been covering markets for a while.、Yeah. You almost never see massive gains like that in a single day. The SP 500 up 5%, the Dow Jones up、uh, 1200 points, that's about 4%, and NASDAQ up 7%. You just don't see that. That's because of the positivity around the inflation report that we got yesterday, showing that prices increased 7.7 percentage points between October of this year and October of last year. Still very high. Keep in mind, where we want to be. It's somewhere closer to 2%, but broadly, it seems like at least directionally, it, used、right. to, it was 9.1% <laughs> earlier in the year. At least that number is going down, not in the other direction. So, does that mean we saw the peak of inflation? Well, it seems like that trend line would suggest so, but I would say let's not put the mission accomplished banner up quite yet. <laughs> and that is because, look, rent, food,、uh, Those types of categories are still seeing price increases, and those are the largest expenditures for a lot of Americans, as well as just kind of the, you know, putting a roof over your head. Shelter is what the government、uh, data kind of classifies、mm. rent, but also equivalent payments for your mortgages. But we did see some things decline in prices clothing, shoes, toys, furniture, jewelry. These could all be. Things that you might be buying for the holiday、right. season. A washer dryer is also apparently. <laughs> so it could be a good time to buy a washer dryer for、There、some reason. There you go, appliance shopping if you need to. All right, so let's widen out now and talk about the Fed. So the Fed has been increasing these interest rates to try to cool inflation. Until this report, we hadn't seen proof that it was working. Does this mean now they could take their foot off the pedal on well, that? Well, again, we're still far away from where the Federal Reserve wants inflation to be. So the, the talking point is that they're going to continue to raise interest rates. The idea being you know, to take some steam out of this economy、mm-hmm. by making borrowing more expensive. Uh, but the talking point is also that the Federal Reserve could make those interest rate bumps a little bit smaller. So they've been going by 0.75 percentage points each of the last four meetings. Markets now pricing in a high chance that they'll go down to 50 or 50 basis points, 0.5 percent in the next meeting, which, by the way, is going to be the second week of December. We'll have to see then. Yeah, we think some of that positive market reaction there, too, to that hope, right?、Yeah. That we're going to see that. And futures are higher right now, too, so it could be another green day on this Friday. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Great to have you with us on a Friday. さあ、どうでしょうかネイティブアメリカン・イングリッシュ。経済の話聞いてみましたけれども、大体の意味、出てきた単語、表現、キャッチアップできましたでしょうか今、理解できなくても大丈夫です。この後ですね、今、聞いた動画ニュースの英語原稿を使いながら、詳細の意味を捉えて、一緒にレベルアップしていきましょう。今、画面の右側に映っているのが、このニュースの英語原稿ですので、これを使いながら詳細を捉えていきたいと思います。えー、左側のですね、この動画、次は区切りながら確認して、その部分部分に出てきている単語表現、ニュースの意味ですね。それを捉えながら、ネイティブアメリカン・イングリッシュの速さ、アクセント、スピードになれながら、私たちのリスニング力、単語力、
上げていきたいと思いますのでしっかり聞いていきましょう。We will be keeping an eye on that. And out of some relief in the economy yesterday, U.S. markets posted their biggest one day rally since 2020 after the October inflation numbers came in at a smaller than expected, though still high, 7.7%. NBC News Business and Data reporter Brian Chung is here on set with us again for more on these numbers. Brian, good to see you. Good morning. Hey.、Um, so, walk us through yesterday's market action and why we saw these big moves. I mean, it was pretty sizable. Are we expected、yeah. to keep seeing that today? Well, I mean- さあ、ではですね、ここまで聞いてみましたので、この部分、詳細確認していきたいと思います。That is some relief in the economy. ということで、relief というのは安心ですよね。安心という意味。in the economy. 経済で少し安心感がありますということで、yesterday US market posted the biggest one day rally since 2020 after the October inflation numbers came in at the smaller than expected through still high 77% ということで、えー、昨日ですね、えー、US markets posted the biggest one day rally since 2020ということで、2020年以来、えー、アメリカの株式市場で最も値が上がったということを言ってますね。そして、after the October inflation numbers came in、10月のアメリカのインフレについての数字が入ってきて、そしてそれがですね、after smaller than expected through still expected though still high 77%. まだインフ、アメリカのインフレ率ですね。今年10月 7.7% とまだ高い増けれども、smaller than expected. 予定されていた、予期されていたインフレ率よりも低かったと言ってますね。NBC News Business and Data Reporter Brian Chan is here on set with us again for more on these numbers. ということで、この左側の Brian Chan さんが詳細。えー、説明してくれます。ということで。Brian, good to see you. Good morning. ということで。Walk us through yesterday's market action. この walk us through という表現を覚えておきたいですね。walk us through というのはですね、何かについて、walk us through 一つ一つ丁寧に説明してほしい。説明してくださいという表現ですね。walk us through 覚えておきましょう。Walk us through yesterday's market action and why we saw these big moves. ということで、えー、昨日のマーケットについて walk us through. 詳しく教えてくださいということで、why we saw these big moves.、えー、どうして昨日ですね、アメリカの株式市場はそんなに大きく上向いたでしょうか ?I mean, it was pretty sizable. And we expected to keep seeing that today? ということで、it was pretty sizable. サイズボールというのは、サイズボール。これですね。量、範囲、または、程度が大きいことですね。サイズボールということで、えー、ここでですね。It was pretty sizable. 非常に大きい値上がりだった。Are we expected to keep seeing that today? ということで、えー、この大きな値上がり、today。今日もですね。expect。期待できるんでしょうかと聞いていますね。えー、では。続きの部分ですね。左側の動画集中して聞いていきましょう。First, I just have to acknowledge, I mean, I've been covering markets for a while.、Yeah. You almost never see massive gains like that in a single day. The SP 500 up 5%, the Dow Jones up、oh, 1,200 points, that's about 4%, and NASDAQ up 7%. You just don't see that. That's because of the positivity around the inflation report that we got yesterday, showing that prices increased 7.7 percentage points between October of this year and October of last year. Still very high. Keep in mind, where we want to be. It's somewhere closer to 2%, but broadly, it seems like at least directionally, it, used、right. to, it was 9.1% earlier in the year. At least that number is going down, not in the other direction. So, ここまで見てみましたので、詳細確認していきましょう。Uh, well, I mean, first, I just have to acknowledge me. ということで、I've been covering markets for a while. ということで、この部分ですね。I just have to acknowledge me. Acknowledge というのは認めるという意味ですから、I just have to acknowledge me. 私をまあ直訳すると認めなければなら,な,らないということで、えー、ちょっと私に話させてくださいという感じですね。そして、I've been covering markets for a while ということで、少しの間、そのマーケットについてカバー、まあ、説明しますということで、
you almost never see massive gains like that in a single day. ということで、たった一日でこのぐらい、massive gain というのは大きく値上がりした。大きく得たものは almost never see、えー。このところほとんど見ていませんでした。ということで、えー、the S&P 500 up 5%、えー。S&P 株式市場は500ポイント上がって、the Dow Jones up 1200 points。ダウンジョーンズは1200ポイント上がって、そして、ザッツバー 4%、4% の値上がり、そしてナスダック、ナスダック 7%、ナスダックも 7% ということで、まあ、アメリカのですね、S&P、そしてダウンジョーンズ、そしてナスダック、すべての株式市場で、まあ、非常に大きな値上がりを記録したということですね。You just don't see that. That's because of the positivity around inflation report that we got yesterday. ということで。You just don't see that. That's because of the positivity around the inflation report that we got yesterday. 昨日私たちに入ってきたインフレーションですね。アメリカのインフレについてのポジティビティ。前向きなことが理由です。と言ってますね。Uh, so she's showing the prices increase 7.7% points between October of this year and October of last year. ということで、えー、10月のインフレ率でしたけれども、October of last year, 去年の10月と、そして October of this year, 今年の10月の間で、インフレ率がですね、7.7% points increased.7.7% 上がっているということですね。Still very high.、えー、まだインフレというのは非常に高いということですね。そして、keep mind ということは覚えておこうということが心に留めておこうということですけれども、where we wanna be somewhere closer to 2% ということで、アメリカの目標のインフレ率というのは 2% ですから、keep mind where we wanna be somewhere or closer to 2% ということで、まあ、アメリカが目標としているインフレ率というのは 2%。ということを覚えておかないといけないということですね。えー、ですので、その 2% に比べて 7.7% というインフレ率はまだ very high, still very high, まだまだ高いということですね。But broadly, it seems like at least directionally it used to, it used, it was 9.1% already in this year ということで。しかし、broadly, 全体的にはということですね。It seems like at least directionally it used it was 9.1%. 今年の初めはもっと高くて 9.1% だったということで、at least directionally 少なくともまあ方向的にはですね、at least that number is going down on the other direction ということで、今年初めの 9.1% のインフレに比べたら 7.7% 下がってきているので、まあえー、下に下がっていく方向にはあるのだろうとこういう意味ですね。えー、それでは次の部分集中して聞いていきましょう。Well, it seems like that trend line would suggest so, but I would say let's not put the mission accomplished banner up quite yet. And that is because, look, rent, food,、uh, those types of categories are still seeing price increases. And those are the largest expenditures for a lot of Americans, as well as just kind of the, you know, putting a roof over your head. Shelter is what the government、uh, data kind of classifies rent, but also equivalent payments for your mortgages. But we did see some things decline in prices clothing, shoes, toys. Furniture, jewelry, these could all be things that you might be buying for the holiday、right. season.、Uh, washer dryers also, apparently. So, the next one. So, does that mean we saw the peak of inflation? ということで聞いてましたけれども、その意味はですね、私たちはインフレのピーク、すでに生きているんでしょうかインフレのピークなんでしょうかとこう聞いてますね、女性が。そして、well, it seems like that the trend line would suggest so. ということで、it seems like, it seems like, 何々のようです。ということで、trend line would suggest so.、えー、この傾向ですよね、えー。このところの傾向を見ると、そのように思います。it seems like that trend line would suggest so. そう思います。ということですね。but I would say, let's 
let's not put the mission accomplished to ban it up quite yet. ということで、えー、しかしですね、I would say, えー、こう言いたいということで、let's not put that mission accomplished. えー、このインフレを抑えるというミッションですね。目的を accomplished。えー、達成ですよね。accomplish。accomplish m a n y up quite yet。まだインフレを目標の 2% 台に accomplish。抑え込むという達成はあまだですと。And that is because, look. ということで、えー、なぜならばですね。look. 注目してほしい。rent. まあ家賃ですね。家の家賃。賃貸料。そして、フード。食べ物。Those types of categories. まあ、この種のですね、エリア、カテゴリーというのは、still seeing price increase. まだ、price increase。価格上昇というものが起こっているということですね。And those are largest expenditures for a lot of Americans as well as just kind of their, you know, Putting a roof over your head shelter is what the government did kind of classifies and those are the largest expenditures for a lot of Americans. たくさんのアメリカ人にとって rent, 家賃を払ったり、そして food, 食べ物というものが largest expenditures. expenditure というのは支出ですよね。最も大きい支出。であるっていうことですね。そして、as well as というのは同様にですけども、just kind of putting a roof over your head shelter is what the government did a kind of classified spent, but also equivalent payments for your mortgage. そして、putting a roof over your head shelter, putting a roof, roof という屋根ですよね。over your head shelter. 頭の上のシェルターに Putting a roof, 屋根を買わせるようなことは、what is the government did a kind of classified rent?、えー、賃貸料を分類している種類、えー、government data,、えー、government data kind of classified as a rent, but also equivalent payments for your mortgage. But also,、えー、そしてまた mortgage というのは、あ住宅ローンですけれども、住宅ローンの支払い、えの、エクイバレントペイメント、同等の、えー、支払いですね。住宅ローンと同等の支払いもまた、えー、クラシファイズ、えー、分類しているということですね。But we did see some things that climb in prices.、えー、しかし私たちは、えー、see some things that climb in price. 値段が下がっている分類も見ている。えー、clothing, 医療とか shoes, 靴とかですね。toys, おもちゃ。ファニチャー、カグ、ジュエリー、えー、貴金属ですね。These could be, these could all be things that you might be buying for the holiday season. ということで、アメリカ12月、クリスマスでホリデーシーズンに入りますけれども、そのホリデーシーズンですね。You might be buying. そういったもの。えー、医療とかですね。えー、おもちゃとか。そういったものを、まあ、ホリデーシーズンに買う、買うだろう。えー、ウォッシャードライヤーズ、オルサアパレントということで、ウォッシャードライヤー、洗濯乾燥機ですね。えー、洗濯乾燥機、ウォッシャードライヤー、オルサアパレントリーということで、まあ、洗濯乾燥機といったものの値段も下がってきているということですね。えー、では次の部分、左側のニュース、集中して、ネイティブアメリカン・イングリッシュ、聞いていきましょう。So, it could be a good time to buy a washer dryer for some reason. Go, appliance shopping if you need to. All right, so let's widen out now and talk about the Fed. So, the Fed has been increasing these interest rates to try to cool inflation. Until this report, we hadn't seen proof that it was working. Does this mean now they could take their foot off the pedal on that? Well, again, we're still far away from where the Federal Reserve wants inflation to be. So, the talking point is that they're going to continue to raise interest rates. The idea being, you know, to take some steam out of this economy、mm-hmm. by making borrowing more expensive.、Uh, but the talking point is also that the Federal Reserve could make those interest rates. Bumps a little bit smaller. So they've been going by 0.75 percentage points each of the last four meetings. Markets now pricing in a high chance that they'll go down to 50 or 50 basis points, 0.5 percent, in the next meeting, which, by the way, is going to be the second week of December. We'll have to see then. Yeah, we. Eh, then, this next, 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 So, it could be a good time to buy a washer dryer for some reason. ということで、えー、今、ウォッシャードライヤー、えー、ウ
乾燥洗濯機を買う痛みかもしれませんね。と言ってますね。So appliance is shopping if you need to. Alright, so let's buy the jet now and talk about the fed. ということで。えー、では、ワイルンというのは広げるですから、話題を少し広げて talk about the fed. fed というのはアメリカの連邦準備局ですね。中央銀行のことですけれども、話題を少し広げてアメリカの Fed、中央銀行のことについても話しましょう。The Fed has been increasing the interest rates to try to cool inflation ということで、まあ、アメリカの連邦準備局は cool inflation、インフレを収めすために increasing these interest rates、えー、金利をですね、increasing、上げ続けている、いますということですね、えー。Until this report, we hadn't seen proof that it was working. ということで、このレポート、今回のレポートが入るまで、we hadn't seen proof that it was working、えー。その金利を上げてインフレを抑え込むということがですね、it was working。作用しているのかどうかというプルーフ、えー、証明を we hadn't seen、見ていなかったということですね。えー、ですので、今回10月のインフレ率が 7.7% と少し下がったので、まあ、効果があったのかなと。まあ、こういうことですよね。Does this mean now they could take the foot off the pedal on that? ということで、foot off the pedal on that。ペダルから足を離すということで、まあ、金利上昇のアクセルをですね、踏み込むことをやめるかどうか、Uh, does this mean?、Uh, このことはですね、今回のインフレ率 7.7% と少し下がったことは、they could take their foot off the pedal on that? アクセルを踏むことを少しやめるんでしょうかと、こう聞いてますね。Uh, そしてこの男性の方が、well again, we are still far away from where the Federal Reserve wants inflation to be ということで、uh, 繰り返しになりますけれども、we are still far away. まだまだ遠くにあるということで、Where the Federal Reserve wants inflation to be? アメリカの連邦準備局が目標としているインフレ率からは、still far away。まだまだ遠いところにある。すなわち、アメリカのインフレ率はまだまだ高い状況にあると言ってるわけですね。The talking point is that they are gonna continue to raise interest rates. ということで、talking points. まあ、話題の中心というのは、they are gonna continue to raise interest rates. They というのは、連邦準備制、アメリカの中央銀行ですけれども、その中央銀行は raise interest rates. 金利を上げ続けるでしょうと。The idea being, you know, to take some steam out of this economy by making borrowing more expensive. The idea being,、えー、ここで、えー、のアイデアですけれども、to take some steam out of the economy by making borrowing more expensive. borrow というのは借りることですよね。more expensive. お金を借りることを more expensive. もっと高くする。すなわち金利を上げてお金を借りにくくすることによって、Some steam out of the economy.、えー、このアメリカ経済から take some steam out. まあ、勢いを削ぐこと。それが、えー、フェデラルリザーブがやろうとしていることだということですね。But the talking point is also that the Federal Reserve could make those interest rate bumps a little bit smaller ということで。えー、しかし、talking points.、えー、もう一つのまあ焦点、話題は Federal Reserve to make those interest rates bounce a little bit smaller. 連邦準備制度局が上げる金利の率ですね。それが a little bit smaller. 少し小さくなる可能性があるということですね。So, they've been going by 0.75% points each of the last four meetings ということで、まあ、過去4回。金利をですね、0.75% 上げてきている。Markets now pricing in high chance that、uh, they'll go down to 50 or 50 basis point. 0.5% is the next meeting. ということで、金利の上げ幅をですね、過去の 0.75% ではなくて、market now pricing in high chance. ということで、次の
12月ですけれども、0.75% ではなくて、連邦準備制度局が 0.5% にその上げ幅を縮小するんではないかという話題が今、中心にあるというですね。Which, by the way, is going to be the second week of December ということで、次。え、金利をどれだけ上げるかっていうのが決まるのが、セカンドウェイクオブディステンバーということで、12月の第2週目ですね。え、決まる。金利の上げ幅が決まる。という、こういう意味ですね。え、それでは次、最後の部分集中して聞いていきましょう。I think some of that positive market reaction there too to that hope, right?、Yeah. That we're going to see that. And futures are higher right now too, so it could be another green day on this Friday. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Great to have you with us on a Friday. All right, turning now to a major. では最後ですけどね、we'll have to see that ということで、まあその12月の2週目に、えー、金利どのくらい上がるか見ることになるだろうということですね。I think some of that positive market reaction there to, to that hope ということで、ポジティブマーケット。まあ、前向きなマーケットリアクション。動きというものを、まあ、期待したいですね。ということで、このニュースが終わっております。えー、では、このニュースの詳細の意味、出てきた単語、表現を確認しましたので、もう一度ですね、左側のネイティブアメリカン・イングリッシュを集中して聞いて、今学習した単語、表現、そしてニュースの意味をしっかりしっかり聞き取って、記憶して、私たちの英語力をアップしていきましょう。We will be keeping an eye on that. And that is some relief in the economy. Yesterday, U.S. markets posted their biggest one day rally since 2020 after the October inflation numbers came in at a smaller than expected, though still high, 7.7%. NBC News Business and Data reporter Brian Chung is here on set with us again for more on these numbers. Brian, good to see you. Good morning. Hey.、Um, so, walk us through yesterday's market action and why we saw these big moves. I mean, it was pretty sizable. Are we expected、yeah. to keep seeing that today? Well, I mean, first, I just have to acknowledge it. I mean, I've been covering markets for a while.、Yeah. You almost never see massive gains like that in a single Day. The SP 500 up 5%, the Dow Jones up、oh, 1200 points, that's about 4%, and NASDAQ up 7%. You just don't see that. That's because of the positivity around the inflation report that we got yesterday, showing that prices increased 7.7 percentage points between October of this year and October of last year. Still very high. Keep in mind, where we want to be. Is somewhere closer to 2%, but broadly it seems like at least directionally, it used、right. to be 9.1% earlier in the year. At least that number is going down, not in the other direction. So, does that mean we saw the peak of inflation? Well, it seems like that trend line would suggest so, but I would say let's not put the mission accomplished banner up quite yet. <laughs> and that is because, look, rent, food,、uh, Those types of categories are still seeing price increases, and those are the largest expenditures for a lot of Americans, as well as just kind of the, you know, putting a roof over your head. Shelter is what the government、uh, data kind of classifies、mm. rent, but also equivalent payments for your mortgages. But we did see some things decline in prices clothing, shoes, toys, furniture, jewelry. These could all be. Things that you might be buying for the holiday、right. season.、Uh, washer、right. dryers, also, apparently. <laughs> so it could be a good time to buy a washer dryer for、There、some reason. There you go, appliance shopping if you need to. All right, so let's widen out now and talk about the Fed. So the Fed has been increasing these interest rates to try to cool inflation. Until this report, we hadn't seen proof that it was working. Does this mean now they could take their foot off the pedal on well, that? Well, again, we're still far away from where the Federal Reserve wants inflation to be. So the, the talking point is that they're going to continue to raise interest rates. The idea being, you know, to take some steam out of this economy、mm-hmm. by making borrowing more expensive. Uh, but the talking point is also that the Federal Reserve could make those interest rate bumps a little bit smaller. So they've been going by 0.75 percentage points each of the last four meetings. Markets now pricing in a high chance that they'll go down to 50 or 50 basis points, 0.5 percent, in the next meeting, which, by the way, is going to be the second week of December. We'll have to see then. Yeah, we think some of that positive market reaction there, too, to that hope, right?、Yeah. That we're going to see that. And futures are higher right now, too, so it could be another green day on this Friday. All right. Brian, thank you so much. Great to have you with us on a Friday. All right, turning now to a major. さあ、いかがだったでしょうかやはり、一度目聞いた時よりも、二度目の単語学習、表現、そしてニュースの意味を確認した、二度目の方が、ネイティブ・イングリッシュ・メアリカンの早い英語、ススッと耳から入ってきて、えー、理解できたのではないでしょうかえー、ネイティブ・アメリカン・イングリッシュ。えー、たくさんいろいろな英語を聞いてですね、ネイティブの英語の速さ、アクセントに慣れて、えー、そしていろいろなトピックの英語を聞く
、えー、そしてわからない単語、表現が出てきたら調べて覚えていくという、この繰り返しによって、私たちの英語力、どんどん上がっていきま、いくと思いますので、しっかりとやっていきましょう。さあ、いかがだったでしょうか今回の英検一級家事チャンネル、えー、時事ニュースで英語学習。アメリカの NBC ニュースのニュース動画を使って、アメリカのですね、株式市場が非常に今活況であるということ。えー、そして焦点はですね、12月の第2週の金利引き上げ 0.75% なのか 0.5% なのか、えー、インフレはまだアメリカ 7.7% とで,ですね、非常に高いですけれども、どれくらいフェデロリザーブ、アメリカの連邦準備局が12月に金利を上げるのか。こういう話題を使って私たちの英語力アップ、そして情報力アップしてみました。引き続き英語力アップにつながる動画を上げていきますので気に入ったら英検一級チャンネル登録、高評価、シェアよろしくお願いいたします。Thank you very much for watching my video to the end. I hope we could get new English vocabularies and expressions and information in English as well from this video about U.S. economy and the Federal Reserve action which will be taken in December 2nd week. I hope you will check my next video as well to improve our English skills. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.